So I started to write a Facebook post about what's been going on for the last couple of weeks, and I realized it would actually be like a whole page. So I thought, Jack does these videos. It can't be that hard. So here goes. I figured I'd do a video update. So Sunday last week, we just gone unconditional on the property on the Friday, by the skin of our teeth, and our surveyor really got on it quickly and was on the site most of the day on Sunday. Did a full contour survey, really great outcome, lots of resolution. We could really plan what we were doing. So that was all done really quickly, drawn up on Monday, and we had our first couple of really workable solutions for the block layouts. So there was a bit of back and forth over that between my JV partner, the surveyor, and I with all having our input. And um, I also got our first bit of contact from Taz Water after our uh, development sort of request. Um, they came back and just said, oh, look, we haven't forgotten about you, but you know, we're waiting for our guys to get back to us. So I just poked them a little bit and probably raised the issue that we may want to move a big sewer main. So there's a bit more about that. Um, the surveyor was away later in the week, and then he got when he got back on deck on Monday, he pretty quickly knocked up our final draft, had our, our planning documentation went together, final run past the duty planner at Launceston Council. They just couldn't see an issue with it at all. It went in. First thing they came back with was you need a bushfire survey, so a bushfire report. So we kind of knew that was coming, but we'd been advised that it wasn't 100% necessary, so we were trying to avoid the cost. So that's lined up. He'll be, uh, he'll be on site in the next sort of few days getting that written up. And there's a couple of little concerns, but we've addressed them pretty much already before he's even done this, the assessment, so it should go really well. Also heard back from um, Taz Water today, and they basically told us, feel free to move the large sewer main but at your own cost and we'll kind of tell you how to tell you if we're happy with it, but we won't give you any advice. We won't give you any plans. We're just going to let you work it out at your cost. So we, um, the surveyor kind of again came through for us, redid the block plan, worked with the existing sewer, came up with a way where we could get essentially the same block configuration, same bottom line outcome, total sale price will work out about the same and no cost of moving a sewer. So until then, we kind of thought that that was going to be a bit too hard, but it was, yeah, it was good to see him come through with that. So the new plan's all done, and, um, yeah, he's going to have that updated on the council file tomorrow, just revise our application, change that. They're not really actioning it anyway until they get the bushfire assessment. So, uh, yeah, and my job for tomorrow, I've got the name of six road building companies who all essentially build private roads to council specs, I've got to get onto them and really narrow down the price. That's our kind of one of our biggest unknowns at the moment is how much for them to put in our extra chunks of sewer pipe and um, dig in a bunch of other services that we've got at the same time, put in the road, the stormwater, all the curb and guttering. So it's gonna it's a big chunk of sewer works. It'll be um, really interesting to kind of to kind of check that out. So yeah, I've got to get the ball move, the ball rolling on that. So uh, yeah. That's my Friday. Hopefully next week we'll start getting some uh, some quotes through on that and we'll start to really narrow down any of the margins of error in our FISO. But at this stage, it's still looking really good. We've got nine blocks. We originally optimistically thought we might get 11, but we've gone a bit bigger. We've worked with our overlays. We've really stayed away from pushing council. And yeah, nine's a good outcome. It's still a really good profit. They're actually bigger. So they're going to um, sell easier, slightly better outcome. I got our first sort of you know word of mouth appraisal from an agent today, and the price is really good. It's a great price range. Our original fees though was just over the 100k mark, and we're now up around the mid 100s, based on the blocks we've got and you know some some better advice. So it's yeah, it's been a big week. I'll keep you guys posted.